set up a quick pre-registration or expression of interest form for an event that you might be running in the future and you want to start garnering interest right now. Now, I'm going to do this for real life on one of my actual events at the moment. So this is inside the Legends Lab. We've got the Legends Lab conference running in July 2024. Time of filming this is January 2024. So although it's six months away, I'm going to start generating some interest from people that may want to come along so I can get an idea of numbers, not only now, but as time progresses, whether that number of people has increased or decreased, it's going to help you plan the venue and so much more. So what I want to do here is I've actually created a lesson inside my academy so that my academy members can see this. And I want to basically give them a link so that they can fill in an expression of interest that they might be interested. So I'm going to press save on this. First of all, I'm going to just duplicate this tab so I don't have to keep going in and out of everything. While that's duplicating over there, let's go and create, first of all, the form. Sorry, what's something in my eye right now? <laughs> go to marketing and, uh, sorry, not marketing and emails. We're going to go to websites and funnels. My apologies. Websites and funnels. Click on forms and then form builder because we want to build a form. You're going to press add a form, start from scratch. And from there, it's going to give us a page where we can start building out our form. So this is what people are going to see. First thing I want to do is add a title. So top plus bottom, bottom button, <laughs> click on that. And at the bottom of this area is where you can pull over your text section and give it a title. So I'm going to put here, uh, express your interest in attending the Lab Conference. All right, so get rid of the word text. Now we can make change this font and everything if we want to here. You know, if I want to make it a little bit smaller, and that's even still pretty big. Uh, what size is that? Can change the size there. Um, we can also just add in a little bit of extra text underneath this. So I might just say something like, um, "If you would like more information about the conference." Mm -hmm. It's 2024 now, isn't it? Gosh, I'm not very good at typing today, am I? 24. I'm really not doing well on the spelling today. All right. And we can just change the size of that to like maybe 16 or something, probably even 14. La, 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 la. Okay, first name, last name, email, phone. I'm going to probably remove the phone field because we don't actually need it. Um, I agree to the terms and conditions. You can change this and you can change the link on it as well on here. So... I agree to do oh, I'm not doing text messages, so I can actually remove that as well. All right, make sure if you're doing, if you have to be GDPR compliant, you do have a checkbox like that still on there. And I'm just gonna change my colors on my button to a different color, a bit more of my color codes. All right. And that has now given me pretty much all I need. Press save. Also, just once that's saved, uh, title your form as well. Legends Lab Expression of Interest. So conference. Expression of Interest. Save again. Now you want to grab the link for this if you're going to be sharing this with anyone. So for instance, um, this is a link that I just want to include in a lesson for now. I'm going to just scroll down here and go, here's the link here. Click here to get more info. Do, 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 do. Highlight it. You can make it bold if you want to. Click the three dots. Click the link link button. Put that link in. Oh, and actually, I just want to change that so it's not the current window. It's a new window that it opens in. Um, now we've got that link shared with everybody. The next thing you might want to do is just check what happens when 
somebody fills in the form trigger type activate always activated oh that's a pop-up form i've just created to make that an inline form it's probably oh yeah it is an inline form good okay done all right so i'm happy with that we're just gonna um leave it we're just gonna leave it at that at the moment because this is for for now it's just an inside my course but i could now go and share that link with my email list i could share it on social media and behind the scenes i'll be capturing that form information so um you would basically go into your form section go to submissions and you can find all of the submissions that are coming from that form. You can even create a smart list of contacts of people that filled that form in so that you can email just that list of people and so much more from there. Hopefully that helps. If you need any help, always click on the chat box button at the bottom right hand side of your dashboard. That will give you live 24 seven chat support from one of our tech experts. Happy checking.